Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New Orders Germany. So I decided to get 2 or 3 oil from Japan oh. because that means I can get started on more fighters without having to wait for that stupid oil well to finish. I could actually sell some coal. Yeah, he does want coal, so let's trade coal for oil. For coal, for... There we go, yeah, that's a good deal. I still got 11 coal left. I could actually sell that to someone. Morocco? I don't think Morocco wants more coal. Do they? Yeah, only one. That's not very useful. Alright, so now I can queue up a fighter in Berlin. So let's do exactly that. And I can use oil to queue up another battleship. Because I don't really think three battleships is going to be enough. I mean, yeah, it's technically enough, but I want to get more than that. No, not paratrooper. Alright, looks good to me. And I'll let that destroyer continue. I don't want to rely on one destroyer only. I definitely want at least two. So, two destroyers, four, maybe five battleships, one submarine, and a carrier full of jet fighters. That's going to be my attack fleet. It should be more than enough. I mean, England is still relying on great war bombers and triplanes. I'm surprised they don't have proper fighters and bombers yet. I don't see any right now, but I saw a few just a moment ago. Well, whatever. Anyway, submarine is done, so... Targeting one, targeting two, and go. Battleship, yes. Manhattan Project is done. Awesome. So I could get some nukes now if I wanted to. I don't think I will, though. Maybe a bit later. I mean, I will get some nukes in this game, just not right now. Alright, so let's continue. Oh, and yeah, I'm going to move that fighter back to Asur because it needs to be inside an actual city before I can upgrade it to a jet fighter. I need to save some money because some of the upgrades that I'm going to need are extremely expensive. Like, for example, upgrading artillery to rocket artillery on epic speed is something like 500 gold from what I remember. So that's kind of expensive. It's going to cost me, what, 2000 gold just to upgrade all of my artillery to rocket artillery? I need to save up. Okay, you go west. And yeah, you stay in there on intercept or something. Trade post is done. I'm about to finish that public school. And yeah, this looks good. What? Did someone steal one of my city states? Yes. I lost Yerevan, really? Well, I don't really want to bother bribing that. Do I have a spy in there? No, I don't. See, that's annoying. But I'm about to get an extra spy when I enter information era. So I'll just send the spy to Yerevan. I don't want to waste my money to bribe city states. Because, as I said, I'm going to need my money oh, no, for the unit I'll upgrades. I'm not quite sure how much it's going to cost me to upgrade fighters to jet fighters. That might be quite expensive. Okay. Romans tried to steal Panama City from me, but that didn't quite work for them. One of my deals ended. Let's take that again then. Can I get declaration of friendship with him? No? Okay, he declined. Interesting. Alright then. Horses? Does he want horses still? No. Oh well, whatever. Never mind that then. What is he doing with these unis? Is he trying to prepare for an attack? That would be kind of surprising. I'll move my panzer a little bit. There we go, just in case he gets any silly ideas. Hey, if he attacks me, I'm just going to take his capital with my army. Right, caravan. That was with Panama City. Off you go. Grab a mine. It looks good. So, two more turns. And my research agreements will trigger on turn 418. So, I should actually get two technologies from these two research agreements, because that's a lot of science. So, let's have a look. I will almost definitely get robotics from this. I will obviously get rocketry, but I'm pretty sure I will get robotics and some progress towards nanotechnology. So, I might actually be able to get XCOM squad in the next 20 turns or so, maybe even faster than that. I'm going to build some XCOM squads as soon as I get nanotechnology. I want to use them. I mean, they are pretty damn good. They have 100 combat strength. And I can drop them directly next to London. 
right. Five turns, I think that's the world leader vote. So that's kind of irrelevant. It's not like anyone is going to win that. I got extra influence with Panama City, nice. So I won't have any problems with that. And I'm about to enter information era. So that will give me one extra spy. I'll just send that to Yerevan or him. Come on. Hurry up. And my fighter is almost done. Perfect. Now I can upgrade that fighter to jet fighter instantly. And my spy will go to Yerevan. Do I have a spy in Antwerp? That's the city with uranium. Yes, I do. Alright. I want to keep a spy in all of my most important city-state allies. So I'll probably want a spy in Tyre as well. Because that's a mercantile city-state, they have quite a lot of units and they are right next to my territory. So I wouldn't want them to pillage my uranium, for example, if they get allied with England or whatever. So I will wait for all of these guys to finish rigging elections. I might try staging a coup in Sofia, if I have any kind of chance to do that. Because even if that fails, I'll get a new spy and then I can send that spy to Tyre. Public school is done. So, extra guy in here, and I'll just get armory. I will probably switch most of my cities to military production. I'll get walls in here, just in case Morocco gets any stupid ideas. And... Just keep getting fighters. Why can't I get a jet fighter? Oh, I need aluminium. Did I not finish? Oh, one more turn, okay. So... I'll just rebase that to Asur or whatever. That was actually not necessary, but I need to wait for that aluminium. But that's only one turn, so not a big deal. Gets a few more mines. Interception one and plus two range. Alright. And I think that's it on this turn. Alright. So I think I'll go for one more battleship. I could actually wait for my research agreements to trigger and then get a missile cruiser. That's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, the Romans are trying to steal Tyre from me, but they failed. But I need to be careful with that. I'm not going to war with Rome yet, but I obviously will. They are taking some cities from Japan, from what I can see. Alright. First influential... Oh, okay. England has... Wow, England has a lot of tourism. Oh yeah, most of that is coming from London. But it's fine, they have the same ideology. So, that's actually pretty good for me. And obviously I will get a massive tourist boost once I take London because of all the wonders in there. Okay, archaeologist is done, so you go here and get a landmark. You keep moving. And now I can upgrade that fighter, 160 gold. That's not too bad. That's reasonable. That's less than I thought it will be. Okay, so... Where's that other one? This one. Upgrade. So that's two jet fighters. I will get another one in Berlin. And I wouldn't mind getting one more. Nine turns. Well, I'll grab that, I suppose. Get some lumber mills over there. And yeah, another lumber mill. That's going to give me more production in Berlin. And Nineveh. Do I have an armor in here? No, I don't. So might as well get that. I'm almost ready to attack England. I need to hurry up with this game. Because, yeah, we're in information era now. And I still need to take all of these capital cities. I could build an army of XCOM squads. Then drop them right next to all of the capital cities. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I wonder if a bunch of XCOM squads could actually take a city without artillery support. Wow, that's a lot of units. Does Morocco actually want to attack me? Maybe I should upgrade this. Hmm. I think I might. I would be very surprised if they attacked me. Let's see. Oh, wow. They are not very friendly with me anymore. Okay. I should probably upgrade all of these units then. That's definitely a good idea now. Especially the cheaper ones. Yeah, that's not what I call cheap. I could move this to the front. And this guy is back here. They are not very useful right now until I upgrade them. So they can stay in the back. Rebase. I could actually start moving with this carrier, 
because my rebase range is pretty good on these jet fighters. So you go here. But I'm going to wait at least for that extra battleship before I declare war on England. Oh nice, I got another tank for free. 160. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade that to modern armor. So I'll move it here first. Just in case Morocco gets any stupid ideas. I don't want to spend too much gold for this though. I can upgrade this one. Yeah, so bring it on. If Morocco declares war on me, I'm just going to take Marrakesh. Holy crap, 38 population. Is Marrakesh bigger than London now? Yeah, it is. Okay. But hey, I almost want Morocco to declare war on me. Because then I'm totally taking their capital. I was going to go for them last. Because there's no reason to go for them right now when I can get a lot of deals with them. I'm getting three or four different luxuries from Morocco right now. So I'm actually getting 12 or 16 happiness from them. That's actually quite a lot of happiness. Anyway, we'll see. I want to keep my money for now. Because I'm still going to need that. What? Yeah, whatever you say. All of that tourism will be mine soon enough. Come on. So, I'll just keep moving with that carrier. I should still be able to rebase. I could count all the hexes, but I can't be bothered with that. Okay, but this time I'm going for Bombardment 1. I don't actually have Bombardment on any battleships yet. I don't think so. Yeah, you just stay here and fortify. Intercept. And keep moving. This should still be in rebase range. I'm pretty sure it is. Move a bit closer. Lumber mill. Lumber mill. Alright. Anything else? Oh yeah, Asur. So now... One more jet fighter? Maybe. Or one more battleship? I think I'll go for another battleship. My destroyer is almost done. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be five battleships. And that will be enough. Five battleships and two destroyers. That's solid. That's more than good enough. Another city captured by Rome. Which city is that? That one. Alright, another destroyer, so... Boarding party. And boarding party again. Because I won't be attacking city with, with the destroyer, obviously. Just capture the city. Okay. Do I want to move one more time? Maybe a little bit. Okay, you just stay here and wait for one more jet fighter, possibly. Does the world leader vote? I'll just vote for myself. No one is going to win that, quite obviously. I don't think it's even possible to win that right now. There are not enough votes. Okay, destroyer, what's next? Maybe another battleship? Or actually, another carrier wouldn't be a bad idea. Or jet fighter first. Yeah, I'll grab a jet fighter first, just in case. These things have pretty decent range. Trade route. And just go get another lumber mill. This fighter will be done in just a second. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait for that one. Oh, and yeah, my research agreements are about to trigger, so let's have a look. I will almost definitely get two technologies from this. What? Oh, no, that's my spice. So, rocketry and robotics. Perfect. So, now I can actually get missile cruisers. Maybe that's better than battleship right now. Yeah, that's definitely better than battleship right now. But it will take three more turns. Alright, I'll get that then. I wasn't going to wait for that battleship anyway. Okay. Oh, it's time for my proposal. All right. So, what do I want for this? Hmm. I could try repealing the extra great writer, artist, etc. Maybe. Can I get something useful for myself? I could try to go for historical landmarks. I mean, I will get three of those myself. I don't think I need sciences funding. That's a little bit useless, honestly. I don't need natural heritage sites, even though I do have one natural wonder. So... But plus 5 culture is not worth it. I could just suggest international games. Yeah, I think I will. Hmm. 
All right, I think I'm going to suggest international games. So, okay, let's do it. And keep moving. So I'll just wait for the battleship and then declare war as soon as it arrives near London. That's going to give me four battleships near London, that should be enough. And I have 735 gold. Okay. I might want to get more happiness just in case Morocco does decide to declare war on me. But I think I'll get police station in my capital because I know quite a few civilizations are trying to steal from me. And I already have a spy in there, so police station will help a lot. Right, I need to check my spies now. 52% chance in Yerevan, that's a bit low. 28% in Sofia. 85% in Antwerp. I'm always nervous when I'm doing this. I don't think I'm going to do that in Antwerp. It's a little bit too risky. I need to keep this city, I want the uranium from it. And England is allied with it right now. If Antwerp declared war on me, I would have a really bad time. I could try to rig elections in Sofia because otherwise I won't really get that city like ever. Probably, at least that seems unlikely and, and it's all the way over here. That city would be quite useful for me. Okay, so let's try. Even if I lose my spy, I'll just get another one. 28% chance. Failure. Whatever. Yerevan. Yeah, 52% is a bit low. I'm still on the fence about Antwerp. 50% chance to fail. I already failed one, so I'm feeling lucky. Let's try. Okay. I realized that was risky, <laughs> but it worked. 52%? Yeah, I'll pass on that one. I don't want to push my luck too much. All these deals expired. Oh yeah, that was the research agreements, right. So I'm not going to bother signing more research agreements because I don't need them. So, next. I'm really looking forward to this war. Yeah, I got an extra diplomatic boost. Because of international games. The AIs usually love that. So, 18 turns for nanotechnology. I think I'm going to get one great scientist before that's done. Let's have a look, actually. Yeah, in one turn. So, as soon as I finish nanotechnology, I'm going to start XCOM squad in Asur. So, I'm not sure if I'll get to finish that missile cruiser, actually. That might not happen. Okay, let's grab that fighter real quick. I don't think this is close enough to rebase. Interception 1 and plus 1 range or plus 2 range. Rebase, yeah, this is probably too far. Yeah, it is, but Halab might be close enough, so you go here, then I have to upgrade and then rebase again. So that's actually 3 turns. Not sure if I really want to wait for that, but I waited this long to declare war on England, so I might as well wait a little bit longer. I'll get walls just in case. Okay, next. I'm down to 15 happiness only. Elizabeth completed Manhattan Project, okay. I bet she did that in her capital. So she won't keep it for long. Hmm. Yeah, I really want to get one more fighter in there. So... Five more turns for nanotechnology. Okay, so I'll just let that missile cruiser finish. And then... Start building a, an XCOM squad. Upgrade. Oh, I should have checked if this is in range, but a bit too late for that now. Oh well. I'll see you on the next turn. Walls, just in case, as I said. And next, again, was that? One of my deals expired. That was coal to Japan. Oh, coal for copper. Yeah, that's a good deal. Can I get that again? Coal. No, he won't accept. I'm not giving you all of that stuff. Forget about it. No, let's not make a deal. I can manage with this. As long as I can keep my deals with Morocco. I don't think Morocco will declare war on me though. That seems really unlikely. But it could always happen. Yeah, they are still using Lancers, seriously? They would have to be crazy to declare war on me right now. Anyway, Jet Fighter, Rebase. I hope this is close enough. It is. Okay, so let's keep moving. I'm declaring war as soon as these three ships arrive near London. This should be more than enough to take London. That gives me four battleships, two destroyers, 
career with free jet fighters and submarine. And I'll get some support from XCOM squads. Because I can drop them right next to London. I don't think London is more than 40 hexes away. No, it's definitely not. So, that mine is done. I can get another mine over here. Caravan with the Erevan. Actually, no. Or, yes. Did I not have a quest? In one of these cities? Oh, in Sofia. But I'm not getting that one. Alright, let's grab Erevan then. And next, I'm quite looking forward to this war. I need to think about the other capital cities as well. But that shouldn't be very hard. My, my plan right now is to take London, drop as many XCOM squads into London as possible, then use my fleet to take Kyoto, and go after Rome. I'm not sure if XCOM squads will be enough to take Rome, but if not, I'll just move my artillery across the continent. I will upgrade some of these to rocket artillery. Wow, I ran out of aluminium, really? Okay. Oh, that's only... That's eight. Did I already use eight? I guess I did. Oh, that's partially because of my jet fighters. So, yeah. I think I'll pass on this jet fighter. I'll just grab a factory in here. Now I have enough. Oh, wow. Yeah, Morocco completed Manhattan Project as well. Don't get any funny ideas. Because I have Manhattan Project 2 and 8 Uranium. Alright, intercept. So I'm almost ready. Okay, walls are finished. What now? I'll just get more land units, I suppose. That definitely makes sense. I'm about to get another jet fighter. And I think I'll just queue up a great firewall in here. I did want to get a great firewall, so might as well try. Munich is my second top production city, so... Walls... I'll just queue up some land units in here now. So, modern armor. I might want to get some more aluminium from someone, anyone. Right. I'm actually going to finish this part here and have a look around for more aluminium. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.